Every so often I scroll through Amazon in search of something interesting and recently I ended up down the rabbit hole of ultrasonic humidifiers and these range in price from anywhere from like 20, 15 to however much you're willing to spend on a device that makes the air around you moist. And this got me thinking, how much do these actually cost if you want to make one yourself? Which brought me to eBay, where I can buy one of these modules for £1.19. Now, surely you'll be thinking to yourself, it can't just be that easy, right? Well, we're going to find out, and then go a little bit overboard, on today's episode of Mellow Labs. This episode was brought to you by JLC PCB, your one-stop shop for your electrical and mechanical project needs. JLC PCB offers everything from PCB prototyping to component sourcing and a wide range of mechanical services like CNC milling and 3D printing. Their website makes it super easy to order, just upload your Gerber files or your 3D files, select your specifications and click order. With prices starting from just $2 for 1-8 to eight layer PCBs, it's an affordable way to bring your projects to life. If you want to DIY your PCBs, JLC PCB is the best choice. Even multi-layer PCBs are incredibly affordable, 6 layer PCBs starting from just $35 and now you can get a $30 coupon on their website for 6 layer PCBs. That means you can experience high quality multi-layer PCBs starting from just $5. Follow the link in my description. Caution not to be handled by unauthorized personnel. <laughs> sure, uh, there's some specifications at the back. Uh, it operates at 5 volts at 300 milliamps. It runs at a frequency of 108 plus minus 3 and uh, consumes about 40 to 50 milliliters of water per hour. All right, let's have a look at it. To begin with, we have this little board with a USB-C input that just makes this little um, piezos buzzer thing vibrate at 108 kilohertz. And then we have this wick that just sits in water and sucks up water up to the uh, piezos thing, which is held in place by this uh, two-part uh, thing where you put the piezos thing on top there. And then you shut it and then you put that in there and it just keeps them together so that the little buzzer always has water. So let's put it together. Okay, so I've got some water. Let's grab my USB-C uh, connector, plug it in. Oh, it's making like a very high-pitched whine. Okay, let's put it in water. We need to wait for the uh, for the wick to soak up enough water, I guess. I'm gonna do anything. Hello. Oh, this bit's still dry. Ooh, when you take that out, it screams harder. What if I flip it, because that side's already wet. If I do that... Nothing. Oh, I think I've put the thing in upside down. Gosh darn it. Okay, so I have to open this up. Alright, well, get this connected. I hope I don't break these clips. I think I've put it in upside down. Let's try to power it like this. Is it this way? Oh, it is this way! Oh, sick. Uh, for your orientation, it's the uh, the slightly wider, pointier side down. Oh my god, it's really screaming now. Right, let's chuck that back into the thing. Ah, there it goes. Hmm, can't really see it that well in the video. Kind of like in, oh, there, there, in, in, above the fog. Above the fog. So, I guess to answer my question from earlier, uh, yes, you can make your own humidifier for one pound and 20 pence. I will say this is not the prettiest looking solution, but you know, we've still got time on this video. So let's design something to make this look a little more presentable. Before I show you my design, I want to start off by saying that me and many other designers out in the world struggle with Cybertruck design syndrome. So here it is. It looks like poopy because my design skills are poopy. So uh, we've got the top, we've got the bottom, and uh, the middle pits fit in between. So now I'm going to send this off to my printer and wait for it to print. Embarrassingly, I have had to use some uh, 
supports in order to actually get this printed. Um, I'm not a good designer. Don't um, don't use this model. Okay, no, so now this should fit on the edge of the glass. I've made it a little bit too small. Okie dokie. And that should go on there. It's a press fit. Like I said, I'm not a good designer. That does let it sit on the glass better. Fantastic. Okay, let's put the thing in here. Let's mount the thingy magic first because I need to know its position. Nope, that's how you make it fall out. Right, I will grab my favorite tool to uh, attack. Oh, come oh, the battery died. Ugh. Please be charged. I like the hot glue gun. It just sometimes takes a little too long to warm up. Oh, it's ready. It ready. We gluing. Perfect. And now I put this on. And the USB port is nice and accessible. Like so. Not giving myself a good way to uh, open this afterwards. Right. I've also not put a lot of thought into uh, how this cable will be uh, cable managed in here. Like I said, I'm not a good designer. Do not use this design. I do not recommend. I have also clearly not put in any effort into uh, how to actually plug it in. Oh, I don't need you anymore. But thanks for chilling with me. And now that should be a perfect fit on here. And so it is. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Right, so now that can go on there and we can plug that in like so oh it's beautiful it's so simple but it works and it won't even like fall in all right i'm actually super impressed with how well this works i was not expecting it for one pound 20 to be as good as it was but i did promise you that i was going to go overboard so what did i mean by that well i found out that you can get these in like sets of six so um Let's see what six of them looks like. These are not uh, packaged as well as the other ones. Ooh, this one actually has buttons. I love that I have this running next to my uh, 3D printer, making sure my filament is nice and moist for the next time I want to print something. Make sure to have these the right way up. Oh my God, locking these together, such a pain. I will say, even though I'm slightly mad at whoever designed the enclosure for these the uh, cool mist on my face is keeping me quite calm so technically if this one can go through 40 to 50 milliliters of water per hour six of these should be able to do like a liter in like maybe two hours all right now to plug them all in now i need to get a dish that is big enough to hold six of these I'm worried this might be a little bit deep, but let's hope and pray. Um, one second. <laughs> well, I guess all that leaves is to just plug it in. The roll hissing, but nobody's spitting out water. Do I need to flip these? I do, okay, one moment. For the full effect, we want them all to go off at the same time, right? Let the chaos begin. Wow, that's, that's a lot of mist. I'm not sure what I expected from this. It is fun though. Okay, so what do the buttons do? Cause this one's on and off, very useful. And then this one, ooh. This has like fancy animations and stuff. It will like play them off one by one. That's cool. Press it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then it just reverts back to the animation. Well, that's cool. I like it. The buttons do make a nice addition because the only way to turn that one off is just to unplug it. I feel very hydrated. <coughs> oh god, that's a lot of water. <laughs> you need air in your lungs, not water. But I want to be hydrated. 
Well, who would have thought that more of these equals more fun? Uh, I am going to have to turn these off because uh, it's getting very wet around here. So I have a few things planned for these guys in the future. And if you missed the last video, do check it out. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links in the description. And I'll see you on next week's live stream. Goodbye. This desk is soaking.